I love grapes. <laughs> like when I go to the grocery store, I always get the grapes first so I can eat them as I shop for everything else. <laughs> you ever eat so many grapes, by the time you get to the cashier, you're like, can you throw this bag away? <laughs> I don't need the stems, I'm good. Like, I steal so many grapes, I think grocery store is gonna start weighing me walking in and out. <laughs> I'm gonna have to walk in with sand in my pocket and shake it out like Shawshank. <laughs> the way out. You gotta taste the grapes first, right? Cause sometimes grapes will have cherry prices. You'd be like, damn, $5.99 for a pound of grapes? That's not your price range, grapes. That's like the unattractive girl at the bar asking you to buy her a martini. I'm like, that's not your price range. Unattractive girl. You get water. Tap water. Cup your hands together like that. And then get you some. I'm just saying, I feel like grapes get a bad rap. Remember the old Victorian paintings with the big girl laying there eating grapes? Come on, she ain't get that big. Eating grapes? They should have painted a piglet in her hand or had barbecue sauce coming off the side of her mouth. Maybe a carcass. I'm saying that whole painting is a lie. Remember the cherubs in the painting? The fat baby with the little wings? Come on, that fat baby can't fly. <laughs> with them little wings? That's the wrong fat baby to wing ratio. It's not a bumblebee. You gotta put 747 wings on that fat baby to get some lift off. How you gonna spread love, little diabetic baby? How you gonna spread love when you got insulin shots at two, five, and eight? How you gonna? Love grapes, man. You're like, how many grape jokes does he have? A bunch. <laughs> Love grapes, hate Facebook. Because women always lie on their Facebook. Starts with the photo, right? It's never a current photo, it was always the best photo. <laughs> They're like, no, it's current. Why do I see slavery in the background? I see, I see Frederick Douglass giving a speech in the background. I don't understand. Or they take this photo. I call that the iceberg photo. Because you only see 10% of what's going on. The other 90% will sink a ship. I saw Titanic and I ain't going out like that. <laughs> Facebook causes troubles in relationships. This girl posted something on my wall. I had an amazing time last night, can't wait to see you again. And my girl was like, what the hell is this? And I was like, she came to my show and had an amazing time. And my girl was like, well, I've been to your show. <laughs> I had a good time and I had a great time, but I ain't never had no amazing time. So what show was she at? <laughs> so right then and there, I know I'm gonna lose this argument, right? So I turn to walk away and she punches me in the back of the head. <laughs> now, of course it don't hurt on the outside, but inside, I cried a little. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I felt defenseless. Because as a man, no matter what, you can't hit your woman back, right? You could be Gary Coleman, she could be Layla Ali. <laughs> and you can't punch her in the kneecaps. It's just wrong, right? But it's not fair that we're left defenseless. But I figured it out, fellas. I figured out how we could retaliate. My girl punches me in the back of the head, and I hit her with a grape. <laughs> Boop! Right in the eye. She was like, oh, no! I just know you ain't hit me with no grape. I'm calling the cops. I was like, call the cops. And if I don't like them, Hit him with a great, because it's not like he could call that in. You know what I'm saying? You can't call in getting hit with a seedless concord. You can't call in a food fight. You understand what I'm saying? And then I realized the grape is the best weapon in the world. I was in a bar the other night. This dude bumped into me. He was drunk, thought it was my fault. He was like, yo, son, you just bumped into me. So, boop. 
I hit him with a grape. And I know what you're saying, man. You're like, how does a grape stop a dude from fighting? Because if we get in a bar fight, it's tit for tat. Like, if I punch you, you punch me back. But if I hit you with a grape, <laughs> what are the chances you got a grape in your pocket? <laughs> All you can do is just smash my pockets. That's all you can do in that situation. You know, I can tell some of y'all are not connecting with this grape material. Some of y'all don't know what it feels like to get hit with a grape. You ever have somebody blow the wrapping on a straw in your face? Right, you can't block it, can you? You can't block it because it comes at you at cartoon speed. It comes this way, but it hits you that way. Back into the right, like JFK, back into the right. Too soon? <laughs> I'm Leo Flowers. You guys have been amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, who's the birthday girl? Birthday girl. Is there a... can, we, can we pass it? Can we pass it back, please? Thank you. Thank you so much. Leo Flowers.